Hello, fifth year, how are you? Okay, I will take attendance. Ivan, Teresita, Paula, Nazarena, Francisco, Martin, Milagros, Jose Maria, and Santi, yes? Muy bien, Martin, Santi, Nazarena. I have three students. The rest, I don't know what happened to you, but you didn't write here, teacher, estamos vivos, we are alive. Yes, what happened to you? Yes, three students, Santiago, Nazarena, and Martin, in fifth year. Okay, well. Eh, yo lo considero como una, un, eh, un feedback que tengamos, entonces traten de mostrarle un poco de respeto a la teacher que le manda las clases y me ponen, aunque sea un here, por favor. Yes, okay. Eh, well, all right, so uh, we are going to check pages uh, 18, 19, and 20, yes, from the uh, exam maximizer. Remember, otra vez puse nota, review, units 1, 2, 3, next class, yes, okay. Uh, notificado, we are going to work in class. Esto, recuerden que no es tarea, sino que son las, las páginas que trabajamos en clase, por eso se da la eh, clase virtual. Y esto es homework, o sea que esto lo tienen que ir haciendo a la par conmigo. Yes, and this is homework. Y hoy tenemos un writing, a review, 150 words, exercise 1, um, page 23, del exam maximizer, ahí tienen que ver la guía. Study for revision, yes, and this uh, review you have to send in the Google Classroom. Respetar fecha y hora de entrega, 14.04 para el 16.04 a las 19 horas. Paso a explicar. Todo lo que sea, no sé si ya lo repetí o porque estoy grabando muchos cursos, pero digo en todos lo mismo. Todo lo que sea delay homework, tarea atrasada, yo no voy a poder corregir. Hay días que según la fecha, para la otra clase tenían... Eh, desde el 2 del 7, esto fue para eh, la informal letter, tuvieron desde el 2 del 4... Hasta el 7 del 4. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 days. Y no puede ser que hay gente que más... Si dice la hora de entrega, a ver qué horario de entrega teníamos. A las 19 horas hay gente que mande a las 18 y 55. Si entra para las 19, buenísimo. Ahora, desde el momento que me mande delay combo, yo no voy a poder corregir porque yo tengo un paquete de tareas asignado para cada horario, para cada día. Estoy trabajando con otros dos teachers a la par, los cuales tenemos asignados horarios, tenemos asignados días de entrega, para que a ustedes les pueda llegar ese link, ¿sí? Con la corrección en tiempo y forma. Imagínense si cada uno entrega a la hora que se le, quiere, se, se le da la gana, en el día que se le da la gana, no vamos a poder hacer el trabajo organizado. ¿Se entiende? Entonces, yo sé que repito muchas veces y sé que hay gente que cumple y gente que no cumple. A ver, si yo pido a las 19, 19 y 34 minutos, ¿qué es? Delay homework. ¿Bien? Y ojo, que cuando están con el, el horario muy, 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 muy ahí, límite. ¿Sí? 18 y 58 minutos. ¿Bien? ¿Sí? Entonces, toda esta cosa, 19 y 21, delay homework. No pasa porque yo tenga ganas, quiero o no quiero corregirles. Yo les corrijo todo, pero el tema es organizarnos. Otro tema, la calidad de las fotos, chicos, mándenme con buena calidad. Yo no hago magia, corrijo, pero no puedo hacer magia. El mandar en tiempo y forma también incluye el tema de que si me mandaste mal la foto, como nos pasó con alguno de los chicos, con alguna de las chicas, me manda la foto dada vuelta. Y yo no puedo estar así, chicos, con una foto corrigiendo un writing de 120, 120, 150 words, o 100 o lo que sea. Entonces, tengo que tener ese margen para mandarle a ese chico o a esa chica que me vuelva y yo sentarme a... a a corregirlo otra vez, entonces pongámonos un poco, tengamos un poco de empatía y pongámonos un poco en el lugar de la otra persona. Si yo tengo desde el 2 del 4 al 7 del 4, me parece que hay bastante tiempo como para que yo me ponga a hacer ahí, 
en el horario límite. ¿Se entiende? Entonces, ten en cuenta que se te puede caer internet, que se te puede caer todo, qué sé yo. Entonces, hacételo un poquitito antes porque te quedas sin saldo, si te quedas sin internet o lo que sea. ¿Se entiende? Bueno, ok. ¿Queda claro? Manden también los archivos con nombres porque nosotros tenemos una gran nube con archivos. ¿Sí? Cuando regimos por el job queue, entonces el problema es que si yo no tengo el nombre eh, Ramat Review, Paula Description, después para archivar y para corregir, en el job queue no está solamente lo de ustedes, está lo de todos los cursos y más en el mío que yo controlo todos los, los, los archivos de todos. ¿Se entiende? Entonces pónganse un poquitito en el lugar, manden las cosas como correspondan. Si se les pide algo, cumplamos, porque yo creo que estoy cumpliendo con ustedes, ¿está? Así que, eh, dicho lo dicho. So, let's go to uh, pages 18, 19. Y hay gente que no se dio por aludida que hubo tarea, Homa. Yes, ok. I don't have your informal letter, so in this homework, in the review, I want to see your review, ok? Yes, remember, if I don't correct you, you can't learn, ok? Pages 18, 19, and 20. Yes, 18, 19, and 20 from the activity book. There we go. Ready, steady, go. Okay. So uh, when something is difficult to, yes, it's tough. It was tough at, yes, okay. It was tough at first. It was tough at first learning, learning the Google Classroom, yes. But then it wasn't so hard, yes, okay. Tough, when something is difficult. Okay, number two, when you love something, yes, passionate about, yes. Number three, yes, when it's hard and you can't do it, yeah, you are stuck with it, stuck with it. At first, I was stuck with the Google Classroom, but then I could solve the problem, yes. Number four, It takes a long time, yes, it takes a few years, okay, it, it takes or can take a lifetime, yes. Number five, when you are addicted to something, I am hooked at, yes, correcting, yes, okay. So you are hooked on, yes, I, I got hooked on when I was 10, yes, computer games, yes? are you hooked Yes, are you hooked on, did you get hooked on computer games? Yes, did you get hooked on computer games? Yes, okay. Good. Um, well, that's all. Yes, exercise two. Yes, let's go there. Okay, are you there? So the, the words that go with do, go and play. Yes, number one, do, voluntary work. Number two, yes, went clubbing, yes, go clubbing, yes, when you visit different clubs, yes, you drink something there, you go to different clubs. In Mallorca, many people go clubbing, yes, okay, on Fridays and Saturdays, yes, okay. Number three, playing cards, yes. Number two, do this crossword. Number five, plays cricket. Number six, Do an evening class. Yes, you do a class. Number seven, going, skiing. Number uh, eight, into. My sister is into karate. Yes, okay, when you are, I am into teaching English. Yes, when you are good at uh, something. Yes, okay. Number three, in, interested in. Number four, passionate about. Number three, good at. Number four, mad at. Yes, okay. Are you mad at something? Yes. Okay. Uh, number five, complete. Number five, complete at or in. Yes. Fascinated by. Yes, okay. Hopeless at. Yes. And getting us all into, yes, get into, yes, okay, get into, yes, is it clear? 
okay? I want you to highlight all the words there in exercise three, okay? Good. Let's go to the grammar. Yes, countable. Languages, skills, people, children. Countable. Number one, two, six, and eight. Uncountable. Three, money. Four, work. Five, experience. Seven, knowledge. Yes, okay? It's something that you can't touch. Yes, that's a idea. Yes. Experience is uncountable. Yes, okay? Languages, I know one language, two languages, skills, the four skills, listening, speaking, writing. Okay? Exercise four. Um, yes, we have two. Abstract, yes, okay. Uncountable, you have there. Money, work, experience, knowledge. Yo no digo una sabiduría, dos sabiduría, tres sabidurías, ok? Abstract, los abstract. El amor, la belleza, yes, ok? Love, news, skills and values. And concrete. Bread, oil, pasta and silver, los concretos, ok? Number three. Caroline, yes, I will say only the, the word you need. Pasta, oil, three, news, four, bread. Five, silver. Six, skills. Seven, values. Eight, love. Okay? Number one. E. Estoy en el cuatro, eh? Four. E. Some. A lot of or lots of information. Two. Any. Much. A lot of. Yes. This is number two. Any, much, a lot of. Number three. Yes. Okay, two. Again, any, much, a lot of. Esos todos son todas las opciones que puede venir en el primero, yes? Some biscuits, some oranges. Number three, a little coffee. Yes, a little coffee, a little for uncountable. Yes, remember coffee can be uncountable. But if you say a cup of coffee, a packet of coffee, it becomes countable. Yes, okay? Any or some guitar music. Five, few children. Six, many people. How many people? There weren't many when I went, yes, okay? So remember when you have countable, uncountable, yes? A, and some, any, yes, much for uncountable, many for countable, yes, okay? Good, then a few, yes? Do you remember a few? Yes, yes or no? Yes, okay? So if you need, if you have any questions, yes? Go to the part of the grammar charts, yes, in the classroom, in the, in the class book, yes, and you have the quantifiers there, yes, um, ten point two, yes, perdón, no, me quedo al ten, okay. Okay, you have unit three, countable and countable, yes, and you have there, yes, okay, when you use countable and countable, yes, a o and some, any, yes, okay, severals, yes, I have, uh, we use several, many and a few with countable, I have several friends, I have many friends, I have a few, a few loyal friends. Is it clear? So you have on page 148, 148, the grammar chart. Okay, for a few, a little. Then you have much and me and a little. We use much and a little for uncountable. A little sugar, a little coffee. Yes, how much money do you want? Yes. There isn't much time to finish the class, okay? Do you understand? To continue with the class. Uh, lots of, 
a lot of lots of yes a lot of with plural countable and uncountable for example the word they were lots of people or a lot of people and there is a lot of food yes a lot of food there you have an example with an uncountable yeah is it clear yes and i wanted to show that you you have uh, there with examples okay yes number five i don't have much yes number five much or any interest can be there number two how many times how many yes for countable number three there is a lot of cheese because cheese is Contable or uncountable? Uncountable. Yes. Number two, do you have any? Remember, any for questions. Yes. I love listening to a little classical music. Music. Yes. A little. Yes. Okay. I've got a lot, a lot of hobbies. Both possibilities are okay. Yes. Okay. There we go. To the other exercise. Get. One false, two true, three false, four false, five true. Yes, and that's all. Yes, exercise three. Let's begin with what about three? In my opinion, four. Do you agree? Five. Let's move on. Six. Don't you think? Seven. That's a good point. Eight. What do you think? Nine for me, ten choose. Okay? Exercise four. Yes, we organize the discussion. Let's begin with. Let's move on. So that's the, the one we choose. Involving your partner. What about picture two? Do you agree? Don't you think? What do you think? I'm giving an opinion. In my opinion, that's a good point. For me, it's the new the TV show. Okay, so activity book bye bye. Remember, if you listen to, uh, if you want to listen again, you mean you must rewind the video and listen again to the answers. Okay, so let's go very quickly to pages 30, 31, 32, and 33 from the class book. Yes, 30, 31, 32, yes, and 33. I want you to put the dates very quickly. Una cosa, um, remember the uh, informal letter? Yes, siempre mandar en PDF, ojo, eh, Ramat y Santi. El formato en el que me mandaron no es en el que pido. Está, yo necesito que esté en PDF para poder editar con las herramientas que yo necesito. I mean, las doble rayas, círculos, colores, está. Así que les corregí con los comentarios como para que no pase eh, la composición. Pero la próxima no les voy a poder corregir. Así que por favor, mándenme en el formato que les pido. En el hipotético caso que no sepan cómo mandar, nosotros mandamos tutoriales para todo. Hasta para enchufar la computadora. ¿Sí? ¿Está? Oh, se va a poner a cargar el celular. ¿Qué que hace por celular. Así que por favor, me mandan Sandy, también me mandas Tenés y te corregí como pude, querido. ¿Sí? Así que, eh, pero la próxima no puedo corregir porque no puedo hacer, no puedo corregir como editar con las herramientas que yo necesito. ¿Se entiende? Bueno. Uh, Martín is answer. Yes, answer. Somebody. No, answer. Sin el to. Yes, write to somebody. Ok, que me anoté los, los errores que tuviste ahí. Ojo con los spelling mistakes, yeah? But the majority, um, Nazarena, many mistakes. Why don't you check? Yes? Me mandaste en digital, no hay problema, con tal de que me mandes en PDF. Ahora, lo que yo quiero es que todo imprimí eso. Todo lo que ustedes me manden esté impreso y esté pegado. El que hizo en forma digital. Como Nazarena, que me pidió disculpas porque me mandó en digital. Y hay algunos que mandaron no más digital porque se autorizaron solo, ni preguntaron. Pero bueno, eh, ¿se entiende? Entonces, ya que van a ser de una u otra manera, a mí me interesa que quede todo archivado para cuando nos volvamos a ver, que quede ahí en, el, en sus cuadernitos. ¿sí? Y el que manda eh, en otro formato que no es, no voy a poder editarlo para corregir. Ok, 
So let's go very quickly to page 30. Page 30. Yes, okay. So you have the text there and you have some photo and I want a photo. I want you to describe the photo there. And what is a there devil? What's that? And it says, it's someone who likes doing dangerous things. Are you a daredevil? Yes or no? And I want you to describe a picture. Yes, they are. And remember, in the middle, at the top, at the bottom, yes, in the foreground, in the background, yes, okay, on the right, on the left, and describe the picture there. And tell me, why do you think, yes, why do you think they are doing that dangerous uh, activities? Uh, dangerous risk, uh, tricks, yes. Uh, do you think it's risky? Yes. Wait. Okay, do you think it's risky? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. Do you know anybody who is a daredevil? Yes. Have you ever been a daredevil? Yes. Why do uh, people like to take such risks? And what other activities do you think their devils do? Yes, well, speak at home. Yes, if, if you would like to do this, if you would like to see their devils, yes, if you have ever uh, been a their devil, yes, and tell me what happened with these kind of people. Is it risky? Uh, it's not risky. Yes, is it clear? The question, so I want you to talk for two minutes at home, yes, and see, yes. Talk about these questions, yes, okay. But then we are going to read uh, the um, exercise two. Read the article quickly. And which three activities are Danny, Kirian, and Stella famous for? Okay. I want you to pause the video, do the activity. The yes, number two, number three, number four, and number five, yes, and number six two, yes, and. Exercise eight is speaking. Yes, okay. Do pause the videos, and I will dictate the whole the the answers now. Okay. Okay. So Danny is famous for street trials, pro riding. Killian freestyle ski, skateboarding. Stella break dancing. Okay, they are famous for those activities. Okay. Exercise uh, three. Are you there? But first of all, I want you to uh, highlight, they are underlined, yeah, but I want you to uh, highlight the phrasal verbs from this unit, okay? Good. Good, yeah, so pay attention. Exercise three, okay? Good. One has performed in films D. Two, Stella. Three, Killian. Four, Killian. Five, Danny. Six, Stella. Seven, Danny. Eight, Killian. Nine, Danny. And ten, Killian. Okay? Are you there? Yes, because we are going to go to vocabulary. Yeah? Okay, do you have all the phrase verbs? And I want you now on a sheet of paper, a color sheet of paper or the um, post-its, yeah? Or if you don't have post-its, you can cut the papers like this, in this way. And I want you to put all the phrase verbs from the unit in your quaderno, in your notebook, okay? Is it clear? So we go to the first one. Bring up, bring up, yes? I was brought up by my parents. Yes, what is the meaning of bring up? I was brought up by my parents, uh, educated, yes, and looked after. Yes, I was brought up by my parents. Yes, okay, bring up is be looked after and educated. And you have to match there with exercise six, okay? Good. Give up, well, you know, uh, give up something when you give up something and you stop doing that activities. Yes, I think I will give up doing exercises because that is very boring. This is an example, yes. Um, to look after your health, yes, you have to give up smoking, yes, stop doing something, yes. Grow up, yes, 
Grow up is when you uh, go from being a child, yes, to an adult, yes. Is it clear? Grow up, yes. Grow up, please, come on. Stop being a child, yes, okay. Stop from being a child to an adult, yes. Think up, yes. Think up is imagine, yes. Think up, imagine, yes. For example, in the text, it says he spent his time, his time in hospital thinking up new stunts. What are stunts? ¿Alguien se acuerda? Yes, trucos, yes, okay, acrobacias. But stunts, uh, también se le llama a las personas, people who um, perform stunts. Did you see in the films? Bien, que dice abajo, well, when the film finishes, it says stunts, yes, and these are the people, yes, who are paid for doing the difficult tricks, yes, the most difficult tricks. For example, I listened that Tom Cruise in Mission Imposible didn't want stunts, yes, he wanted to do the stunts by himself, okay, that's very dangerous, okay, good. Um, yes, so think up uh, doing these kind of tricks at home, yes, imagine, create, uh, take up, Yes, will you take up the gym next week? Will you take up doing the composition sometime? Yes, okay, it's to start, to begin. Yes, a new activity or hobby. Yes, I will um, take up the gym. I will take up painting. Yes, okay. Uh, end up. Yes, okay. You know, the other day we ended up yes, in a pub, in a very, very awful pub. Yes, after being, yes, you f is when you finish in some place, yes, but you didn't expect to be there. Yes, after a long time, after a lot of drinks, yes, we ended up in a very awful pub, okay? Just two friends and I. Is it clear? Yes, so I want you to highlight the uh, phrasal verbs there in the book, on the book, yes, uh, on the page, I wanted to say, and uh, I want you to put all the phrasal verbs as we do in class. Yes, give, bring up, be looked after and educated. Give up, stop doing an activity. Grow up, go from child to an adult. Think up, imagine and create. Yes, take up, begin a new um, hobby or activity and end up finish somewhere you didn't expect to. Okay? All the phrases are based from the units like this, okay? Organize your ideas and everything. Yes? Okay, so let's go um, to the speaking part. It says, which, number eight, which of the, the three sports in the photos above should be included as an Olympic sport? Uh, I want you to think about this, yes? Uh, at home, think about any sports you like that are not included in the Olympic Games and you would include there and why why do you consider uh, these sports you are thinking at home it should be included in uh, the olympic games okay well so let's go very quickly to 32 and 33 and we're going to go to the listening part and do you think skydiving would be scary amazing or both mm? do you know skydiving yes what do you think is it is it difficult or not? Have you ever tried? Would you like to try? Is it amazing? Is it scary? Why? Yes? Okay, these are daredevils for me. Okay? Well, number two, I want you to complete the interview. Read it first. Read it first. Stop the video now, pause the video, and I will play it. Yes, but you pause the video, please, at home. Three. Grammar Focus, Activity 2. How long have you been skydiving? I've been skydiving since January 2006. My brother was a skydiver and I persuaded him to take me. Have you ever had any landing scares? Uh, once I had to land in the city because the wind was too strong and I couldn't make it back to the landing area. I had to land in a little park full of trees with lots of cables and a canal nearby. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you parachuted for charity? Uh, I've done that about 15 times, I think. 
It's always good fun. Okay, if you need a repetition, remember uh, you need to rewind the video. Yes, you will rewind the video and listen again. Okay, is it clear? Yes, okay. So number one, number one, C. Yes, okay. Number two, A. Yes, have you ever had any landed scares? Yes, okay. And you know, uh, the difficult thing must be the landing area. Yes, because sometimes, well, they have to land not in the area they are supposed to. Yes, so it would be very difficult. Yes, okay. Well, uh, think about this sport. 2A and 3B. 3B, yes, okay. And you know the parachute. Yes, for charity. Yes, that's great. Okay. Um, well, so let's go very quickly to exercise four. Yes, I want you to do it. Yes, pause the video and then listen to the answers. Okay, I will go straight. Okay, have you ever, have you been waiting? Got? Have been waiting? Have already read? And have drunk? Two, have you been writing? Was, have been writing? Have you been, have you written? Sorry, and have written. Remember the present perfect continuous. Yes, all the continuous are siempre tienen la idea de en proceso. Okay, yes, okay, it's in process. And I want you to go very quickly very quickly to the grammar reference on page 49 page 49 149 sorry 149 yes and you have there 149 3.3 present perfect simple and present perfect continuous yes and you know how to form present perfect and then you have the present perfect continuous I have been recording classes since nine in the morning. Yes, I have been correcting essays since four in the morning. Is it clear? So it has to talk about, is when you talk about activities which started in the past but continue in the present. Yo he corregido. Entonces, desde las nueve y ahora son las cuatro de la tarde, supongo. Is it clear? Yes, okay. To talk about repeated action, y tiene la otra parte, yo quiero que subrayen con el highlighter. To talk about repeated actions up to the present, yes. And to focus on an activity rather than the quantity result. For a quantity result, we use present perfect. She has been making records for 15, yes. She has been recording classes for 10 hours, okay. Is it clear? And then she has made 11 records, present perfect simple, on the result. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? So something that is in process, present perfect continue. Yes? You know how to form them. But now you have to focus on the, um, the uses. Yes? Okay? So read the uses, 149, and then do the activities. Yes? To make sure that you understand and you remember all of them. Number one, has been risking. For many years, this is a um, a guide. Started, was jumped, realized, discovered, has been jumping, has been jumping ever since another advert that guides you has thrown, arrested, and has pushed. Pushed, sorry, has pushed. Eleven jumped and. 12 in the past, yes? Okay. Um, well, that's all. Yes? Okay, I want you to go very quickly to page 33. Yes? And I want you to do number one, number two, number four. And number three is talking. Yes? At home, you will think about what sort of TV programs do you think it shows? Yes, what TV program does it show? A contest, yes, a dance con contest, yeah. What do you think about those contests who are on TV 
uh, that encourage children to complete uh, at an, to compete at an early age. Yes, because I have seen I don't remember the channel, but uh, it's a contest, a dance contest, and the children, the girls, are very little, and uh, it's a competition. Yes, where they should uh, show uh, how they dance, how well they are in dancing, and parents push them to be the best always. And do you think it's okay? Yes. Uh, um, should it be allowed or not? Yes. Uh, which are the advantages and disadvantages of um, pushing your child to be the best, to compete all the time? Uh, do you think it's good? Are they prepared for that? Yes. At that age when they are very little? So I want you to think about this, about contents, yes, um, how old well they should be, yes, yes, all right. Well, I want you to go to uh, exercise one from the use of English, yes, okay, are you there? So you have one, exercise two, visito, yes, you have visit, that is a verb, yes, visit is a verb, and if you are this, yeah, the suffixes, you this become from a verb, from a verb to a noun. Yes, okay, is it clear? So you have the visitor there. Yes, okay. Visit visitor. Yes, okay. Snowboarding. Yes, you know snowboard is a what? Yes, a verb. And if you add ing, it becomes a noun. Yes, okay. Invent is a verb. If you add inventor, yes, it becomes a noun. Our invention, it becomes another noun. Do you understand? So pay attention in the suffixes. Yes, okay. In this case, it's invention. Number four, argue is a verb. And then you have argument, that is the noun. Argue is discuss. An argument and a discussion. Weak. Yes? What is weak? A verb, a noun, an adjective. Well done. And if you add ness, it becomes an abstract noun. Weakness. Debilidad es un sustantivo abstracto. Yes? Adult, adulthood. Yes, okay, adultez. Child, childhood. ¿Quién me dictó esa? Muy bien, eh? Okay, number seven, har hardship. And number eight, electric, electrician. Yes, okay? Good. Uh, exercise five, exercise... Um, are you there in four? Shall we check four? Okay, let's go. So we have a uh, championship. We have already done this um, during the years, yes, and this is war building, yes, but you know, be beautiful, beautiful, beauty, yes, champion, championship, there are some new ones that you will have to take into account when you study, yes, uh, training, yes, dedication, Commitment, friendship, happiness, otros adjetivos abstractos, disappointment and reaction, yes? So, I want you to think at home about these uh, things we have already talked there, about there, about this, about six and three, yes? If you consider that these contents are allowed or should be allowed or should be forbidden, yes? Because, you know... Take into account that the little girls and boys and girls uh, sometimes are no, not psychologically prepared, yes, for doing those kind of contents, yes, for competing all the time, yes. They leave behind their lives, uh, hours that they could be playing, okay. Well, um, so I want you to uh, pay attention. Because for next class, um, you will have to hand in a review 
Yes, and I want you to go now to uh, the reference 168, 168, and you have how to write a review, and this is the last thing I will explain today, is about how to write a review. Yes, you have there, and uh, well, this is a task, for example, uh, I want you to do. The one you have to do is a revision, is from um, a review, 150 words. Ojo, no pongan más de esa cantidad de palabras. That is exercise one from page 23. La guía está ahí porque es una review del activity book, del exam maximizer. Ok? Este es el ejemplo que da ahí. Y dice, you recently saw a notice on your college website. Vamos a hacer de 150 words. Have you seen any good TV documentaries recently? We are looking for reviews of recent documentaries to put in the review section of your web, of our website. Send us your review, blah, 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 blah. And you have there. First of all, in the introduction, you must state the name of the film, of book, or program, because sometimes you can write a review of a book, you can write a review of a film. We have already written reviews before, last year, about films, Yes, so you have to put, yes, introduce, in the introduction, state the name of the program, book, or film you, you are going to describe. Then, remember, dejo sangrías. Las sangrías son lo que, es lo que me va a hacer separar en párrafos. No dejo puntitos ni nada, cosas raras. Uh, then, give some information about subject of the film or book. In the second paragraph, you have, you have to give information about the book you have already introduced. Yes? Do, el do adelante es para enfatizar, chicos. Do explain why the film, book, program, etc. was good. Yes? Why you enjoy it. Yes? Use linking words. Yes? Use linking words. And you have a why. Uh, a variety, a big variety of words, linking words, and I want you to highlight. ¿Está saliendo bien el camarógrafo? Mm -hmm. mm? Yes, okay. So I want you to highlight all the words there, yes, okay? All the, the ones you can use in the introduction, when you give information, when you give your opinion, and when you recommend, and I want you to use the new ones, not the ones you are used to using every day, the new ones, yes? Traten de probar las nuevas, chicos, por favor. Yes? Okay, uh, then you have to explain why the book was good or not, why you enjoy it, use linking words, yes? Link your ideas. Martin, creo que en alguna te corregí que uses los con conectores para, us para unir las ideas, porque para eso están, o si no, when you don't use connectors, yes, linking words, um, If you don't use connectors, your writing could be, uh, will be very poor. Yes, and then in the last one, you have to conclude with an opinion. Aquí sí puedo concluir, puedo poner opinión. O una recomendación. For example, if you miss it, ta, 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 ta. Uh, those people, ta, 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 ta. Uh, it is very interesting. Indeed, I, I would recommend. Uh, this is a must for seeing. I would recommend anyone to. It's definitely worth reading and blah, blah, blah. Yes, ok, ojo con estar buscando eh, reviews eh, online y mandando una review que cortan y pegan. Por favor, practiquen su propia review, organize your ideas in the brainstorming, yes, mándenme todo con nombre de archivo, la hoja del alumno tiene que tener su nombre, su sellito, lo que sea, entonces, ojo, nombre del archivo, coma, review, y en la hoja también nombre. Uh, I wait for you in the next class. Bye-bye. See you fifth year.